Okay, so the press has been trying to cover up the actual reason why Katie Hill resigned from Congress. They want to tell you it was because of a nudie picture, that she's bisexual. You know, obviously the biggest reason she's a woman <laughs> and women are just, they're just so oppressed. I mean, gosh almighty, look how oppressed she was and she won election to Congress. I, I know, I know it's crazy. So the media is trying to bury the fact that it was not because of nudie pictures. It was due to an alleged affair between Katie Hill and one of her congressional staffers. There was a House Ethics Committee investigation opened up to look into whether or not Katie Hill was having an affair with someone that worked for her. It's just that simple. Now they point at a man named Duncan Hunter, who was a congressman out of California. Turns out he's a Republican. And in all fairness, he has been accused of the same thing except twice over. I think I read, he, allegedly, he had affairs with two of his staffers. And he's, he's in some other trouble too with, with election uh, campaign money and some other, I mean, it's a, it's a mess. The supporters of Katie Hill who wish to impress upon the weak-minded people who can't read a news story that she is a victim. You see, Duncan Hunter, he's still in Congress. Well, yeah, that's because he didn't resign from Congress. Katie Hill wasn't thrown out of Congress. She resigned after the Ethics Committee investigation was opened. Duncan Hunter didn't resign, and so thus he's still a congressman. Katie Hill would still be a congresswoman if she didn't resign. She wasn't thrown out. She wasn't given uh, unfair treatment because she, she quit after all this stuff came out. Yeah, the revenge porn, perhaps, her ex-husband. But what we do know, what she has admitted is that she was in a relationship with a younger campaign staffer, which is legit me too. Position of power, all that stuff. It is alleged she was having an affair with someone working on, you know, in her office, I guess, or congressional office. And thus the investigation, the ethics investigation was opened up. Prior to getting the resolution of that investigation, she quit. Duncan Hunter is still under investigation and he's still in Congress because he didn't quit. If I disabused you of any misinformation you may have been fed by the mainstream media, they want you to think it was the pictures and they, it, it, no, 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 no. She was accused of banging someone in her office. She quit before the investigation could take place. It's just very simple. But yet we're going to hear, oh my God, she's treated differently because she, she's a woman. And we live in a misogynist, uh, you know, society, culture. What? She's a victim, obviously. Well, what is that old saying? Equality feels like oppression if you are otherwise privileged. Uh, hmm. See, nothing is to happen to a female. There shall be no consequences to her life, regardless of what she does. That has been the goal of feminism for the last 60 years. She has not been taught to expect her stupid decisions to cause her any problems in her life. Anything you do shouldn't matter. And if somebody catches you doing something and you get caught, you're a victim, always a victim. So I wonder if we're going to see any stories like this in the Daily Beast. Might be entitled something like McDonald's CEO, done in by the perfect storm of misandry, sexism and uptight boomer values. Oh, you haven't heard about this guy? You haven't. You see, women are always treated worse than men, you know? They make an allegation, they point at somebody, that guy should go away. Just an allegation. Here we have proof that she was banging someone on her campaign staff and an allegation she resigned. McDonald's CEO steps down after a relationship with an employee. Is, is this sounding familiar to what I just... Uh, talked about. McDonald's CEO, this guy's name is Steve Easterbrook, has resigned after the board of directors determined a consensual relationship he had had with an employee violated company policy. Uh, sounds kind of similar to the Katie Hill business, doesn't it? Position of power, all of these other things. This guy resigned. Did he get a free pass? Did the McDonald's board say, oh, no, 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 Steve, hey, you're, you're a white guy. 
Those rules only apply to women, okay? Come back in the boardroom. Let's go golf. No, he resigned because he broke the rules of the McDonald's Corporation. Katie Hill resigned because of an ethics investigation. Duncan Hunter continues to be under investigation. Yet he remains a congressman because he didn't quit. So they're trying like crazy, I guess, to try to make people think she was forced out somehow. You know, that, that there was a hearing and, and they booted her. No, 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 no. She resigned her own free will. And if anyone strongly encouraged her to get out, it was not the misogynist evil men who did it. It was Nancy Pelosi, who's a woman. I'll put the links below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.